We're joined now by an icon of Asian MMA, May Yamaguchi, as well as one of the most exciting young talents in the atomweight division, Jihin Radzwan. Jenlin Olsen out, May Yamaguchi in. May, this is a dangerous fight to step in at such short notice. How do you feel about it and how's it going? Yeah, you know, um, I always train and try to be fit, so it is a, it is a short notice, but it's pretty exciting. Jihin, is May an even more dangerous opponent than Jenilin? Um, It's a very, of course, as you know, that May Yamaguchi is very experienced fighters, so I take it as very um, adventurous fighter than, you know, uh, what you say just now, uh, more dangerous than generally. What's the key differences, do you think? Um, if you compare me and uh, generally all same, I think me is a very well-rounded and very experienced fighters. As you know, that she's very good in ground games and he's very good. Uh, she's very good in striking as well. Like um, generally, she's like, Although people were saying that she's a grappler, but then you can see that she's um, she's uh, relying on her striking more, and Bay, May can use both. May, have you had your eye on Ji Hin? Are you aware of her career? Have you been watching her closely? Yes, of course. Um, I've seen her fight, and she's really good in the ground game, especially from the bottom. So um, I'm always surprised and. Um, she's aggressive too, so I've been watching her fight all the time. So it's, uh, but it's really good to um, go against her this time. How important is your experience going to be here, May? I feel like you've been there and seen it. You've fought some of the best women in the world. Is that going to be crucial? Well, um, you know, like young fighters, they always improve, and even they don't they have less experience you you won't know how how much they improve in their training in each fight so um i i don't know it i think this will be a great one what will a win over may do for your resume jihin she's a big big name in asian mma she's fought for the title will this be the biggest win of your career I think this is going to give a big impact in my career because as you know, like I mentioned just now, she's a very experienced fighter. She has a lot of fights. And I know that if, um, you know, if I win this fight and I can, you know, be famous in Japan, Japan because she has like very big, um, big fans and very, very big exp uh, exposure in Japan. I know that you're a very... Uh keen student of grappling that you like watching the Danaher death squad are you keen to test out your submission game against a really elite grappler like me um it's very hard to you know like to talk it uh, to talk about it now because like um sometimes what you plan is not goes you know like in in the real situation it's not goes always as you plan so if let's say i got the opportunity of course i, I, I would love to May, you were on a brilliant run uh, before, but now you're riding two losses. Do you feel that you're over those? Is, how important is it for you to get back to winning ways here? You know, um, in the last two fights, because of the COVID situation, I had really hard time training and putting all the techniques together. But um, yeah, I, I have to show what I have in this fight, and I would love to show the skills in boxing and of course in the ground games, you know, it's, it's very important for me to show that here. Jihim, we talked about the experience of May, but you have youth on your side. Is that going to be a big factor for you? Um, to be honest, is it is a big factor for me because I I'm more you know younger and faster. Like me, she has uh, experience and she she know what she's doing. But then maybe because of the you know the the experience and the the more that you involve yourself in in this industry in in you know like combat sports, you will get more injuries and you will go, get more like you know fatigueness or soreness or anything. So um maybe because I'm younger and I can take more, you know, I can take more and give more. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's accurate, May? Um, yeah. The one point that that is um, 
what happens when when we fight for so long time. But uh, at the same time, you know, the the excitement of mixed martial arts and combat game is that sometimes that the age and those everything go over that and uh, it's you won't know what happens. So I think the both both part is is in the combat game. We touched on Jihan's grappling. Do you feel that you're stronger? You're stronger in that area. Um, I don't know if all the part is stronger, but I'm sure that I have more techniques. But Jihan has a good physical. She's powerful, aggressive. So um, if I can show, if I can go over that and show my skills, I I have a lot of chance. Jihan, we haven't seen you since December 2020. How improved are you since then? What's changed for you since then? Um, like, as you know that I've been, you know, like quite quiet for quite some time. So I think it's been a year, but I never stop uh, from training. I always in the fight camp, but then because of the situation, my fights always cancel. So maybe for this time, I think that uh, what improved is, is in every aspect. Like, if you see stri my striking is like a bit slower last time, so maybe I will be like more, um, you know, explosive and, and more faster now. And if you see like in the ground games, maybe I, I, I easily get take down or I, I very, I, I barely pass in that particular situation. So maybe you will see like more uh, techniques and more, you know, like explosive, like I said just now. May, do you think the winner of this fight deserves a top five ranking? Um, yeah, I think so. Are you planning to make up for lost time, Ji Hin? Do you see yourself having a title run? If you beat somebody like May, you'll have some momentum behind you. Okay, uh, it's, it's very hard to say whether I'm very close or I'm very far from the title belt. But then as you know, as you can see, and as you know that my my uh, previous opponents uh, were all like very experienced. They has they has name and they has very, you know, like legit, legit experience. And as you can see that I fought B Union before and I fought uh, the former champion and the, uh, the ch champion, former belt, former belt fight, Johnny Huang and, you know, Priscilla Hatati, she has like, um, I think like five or six streaks of winning. And now I'm fighting May. And it's very hard to see if I'm that far or at or that close to the title but so, but we'll see like as you as you know that we have like confirmed date for title bet now so maybe like two three times more it could be me i'm not sure if it's your style or not but will you make a call out if you get a win here hmm. i'm not that kind of fighter that call people's out but then as you know that i never reject any fight like i'm, I'm not a fussy fighter but if i get that opportunity of course i will take May, how advantageous is it that you're a fighter who stays ready, that you're able to just jump in and take these opportunities? Is that a philosophy that you're going to take through for the rest of 2022 and for the rest of your career? Are you, are you always willing to jump in? Yeah, of course. You know, um, I'm an athlete, but at the same time, I, I'm the people who does Budo, uh, Bushido, you know, we, we don't. We don't. We do need some time to prepare, but the spirit is always like we take the fight anytime. So I think it won't change until the last moment I stop fighting. Your matches with Angela were, you know, talk about warrior spirit. They were incredible and really historic in terms of women's MMA. Does a part of you hope that you get to do it again? Yeah, of course. I always wish for that. You know, um, but first I have to show how, how I've been improving, putting all the techniques together in this fight. You must get quite annoyed about us being asked about it at 39, you know, how long you continue to go on. But do you see yourself continuing to compete at this, the highest level for a good while? Do you have a plan in mind? You know, um, I'll try. I'll try. But probably about like two years um i would like love to keep keep fighting but um i'm always trying to seek for new techniques and how i can i can do the performance with all my careers ages 
the everything, you know. Hypothetically, if you beat Ji Hin and you could take any realistic fight on the roster, who would you most want? Um, some of the fighters who was in the tournament, I'd love to. Any specific names in mind? I don't know. Um, and anyone, anyone's fine. Ji Hin, you uh, had a close fight with Denise Sambawanga. You know, you also fought against. Uh, you know, close opponents like Gina and Young, he lost. If you could get one of those back, who would it be and why? And is that something that you would want to push for? Um, I think like it's it's very hard to choose. Like both of the fight, also I was doing quite, you know, like I I I was I was I was doing some things that damaged him them, but it just wasn't enough to get the win it just wasn't my day so i think like either of them is 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 great like maybe split decision against Gina and Young, like rematch in the future so okay both of you are in an excellent position to give your opinions as an outsider we have a massive matchup coming up at 1x angela versus stamp may can you tell us who's going to win that fight it's hard it's hard to say that but um Stamp's ground game is getting better, and I know Angela would love to go for ground game. So, um, if Stamp can stop that ground ground and stop the submission, keep in the boxing style, she Stamp might win. But Angela is getting a complete fighter, so. It's, it's pretty hard to say who's going to win. What do you think about that fight, Jihan? Do you have a prediction? Um, for the prediction, it's very hard to say. Like, I, I agree with me, but it, as you can see that STEM, she's very active, like, in, for the past few years, like, she has fights every year, maybe two or three times, while Angela, she been off for quite some time. So like for the rust rustiness, maybe if she, you know, if, if she couldn't like adapt with the situation in the in the circle and she like got like, you know, like freeze or something that maybe the site will be on STEM. And if let's let's say the fight is going to be on the ground, like, like, you know, like. It's, it's very hard to say, like. Stam is improving her ground game and then Angela also like you know like she's a black belt and maybe if she's don't have any like you know that fight fight rustiness or anything maybe it could be 50 50 but then to be realistic I think it should be Stam because Stam you know like she's very good in striking if she could you know stay on the feet and you know box or strike with her she could win it's a, a really interesting fight for the division coming up with hamsi yohi taking on denise sambawanga both have fought either of those women may it was way back in 2011 when you fought ham mm. how interesting would it be if you guys fought again at this stage of your career and of course a win there would get you right back in the top of the ranking it'll be fun a lot of fun you know um we'll be we're good friends from for a long time and we always cheer each other when i uh leave japan for this fight uh ham gave me a text me and she she said she's always cheering for me so um you know we know a lot about each other and i know ham fought in a big organization for a long time too so it, it will be exciting if we can, can fight again in this one championship. So equally, Jihin, would you campaign for the winner of that fight? How closely are you going to be watching that one? Because you versus Denise again, that will put you right at the top of the division. Um, to be honest, I was um, rooting for Ham. Like, I know that she's going to win that fight. And if in the future, the, the rematch also, I think I would uh, rooting for Ham also. Because um, since you you can see you can see the difference the the the, the game 
then when she was like the niece was with FedEx and now she I think like for now the game plan you can read like for last time maybe because of the coach it, she has a very good coach in FedEx and she know what to do and now it's like more just like not more ordinary and finally for both of you what's your biggest ambition for 2022 in terms of martial arts may um i really hope for to to find maybe one or two more in 2022 and um you know i always want to be aggressive in the cage show some power and cheer for the people who's watching one championship and do have the same question for you? Um, I I hope to get more fights. Like like I hope that like for now we only f- will we the one championship only will be held in Singapore. I hope that they could do like you know like last time move to like Kuala Lumpur, which is my hometown, and any other countries, not only Singapore. Like I hope that. Um, they lifted the restriction and we can, you know, back as normal. That would be fantastic. Ladies, thank you so much. Great to see you. Thank you.